one fist short. Oh yeah, because you get the extended push time thing. Jeez. Is that game one? One one. Okay, got you. All right, so we're in the game three here between Sug and Cadillac. I guess. I'm coming up a little bit late, which is unfortunate, but I'm excited to see kind of a, a Shoto type matchup. Um, kind of the, the battle of the, the range Shoto versus the I'm going to blow you up if I get in your face Shoto. So um, explosive to say the least when it comes to Shoto matchups in general, but also uh, fun to watch when it comes to essentially Zug trying to get in and Cadillac's trying to keep him out. <laughs> um, the shield buff or the shield pressure buff or shield break slash pressure slash damage buff with that uh, Tatsu, no it's not Tatsumaki, it's the other red fireball thing that just eats shields, it's crazy. So if you get your uh, your opponent sleeping, uh, it's much easier to shield break almost the capacity of, well, I mean, Kazuya too has shield break moves, like that down smash. Uh, so often people will buff her air dodge or shield after getting hit, hit like by a couple hits uh, in Kazuya. Uh, string, so uh, I've been liking seeing that Zug's been implementing the down smash a little bit more, kind of mid-string combo, cause hoping that his opponent is going to shield, because then, I mean, free shield break, free shield break means uh, basically a free stock when it comes to Kazuya. If, as long as your combos are optimized and doing things correct, uh, doing things correctly, uh, nice little 
it's not a car cancel if it's if it's on hit, but uh, Cadillac's very well versed in the Ryu character uh, when it comes to being able to cancel the down smash into the uh, fireball. I'm not gonna just look up the name. I, I know the name of this, but I'm blanking. Uh, something I think feels like underdeveloped for Kazuya is ledge trapping, and I'm not exactly sure what the best move is, but I played a, a Kazuya recently online that uh, we kind of just sit at like just under roll distance, because uh, auto turn around covers the rest of the roll, and would just react to whatever I picked. So essentially if I jumped, they up and if, the, if I normal get up, um, they would buffer electric wind god fist, and then uh, if I attack it up, they would eat through it, or if it might just auto turn around if I roll up, as long as they time it correctly. But um, a clean stock there, finally, with that Dragon Punch. Um, I was talking with Zug earlier about the fact that um, Zug just loves using it in general when it comes to like, catching his opponent swinging. Oh, geez, so much shield pressure. That's terrifying, though, going off stage with that. Oh, nice forward air back air. If you have forward drift during your forward air at like mid high percent, even just low percent, dude, you can combo out of it, which is a kind of a niche combo starter for Ryu players. Um, but as I was saying, what I was talking about with uh, Zug is that. You can come contest oh jeez. Um people's attacks with the dragon punch because it just eats through with that armor. Ooh. Alright, well, that's one way to finish it off. And uh game two going to Cat or game three going to Cadillac, it's a two one lead. I have it back at again here, game 4. Wondering whether or not it's going to be a 3-1 for Catalytes or if Zug is going to bring us to a game 5 situation. This is the final match for our round robin pools. So, kind of fun to see how Shoto's played out. I, I don't think we've had two Shoto's play against each other in Awaken Kick Bracket yet. Uh, I do know that, I mean, primarily Catalytes ma um, mains Pokemon trainer, which I'm kind of expecting to come out uh, for final bracket, but I know he's been wanting and uh, kind of using Ryu um, in this round robin pools for at least practice at the very least. I wouldn't be surprised too if he also uses the front of bracket, but uh, definitely a PT, um, or just very competent with the PT. Um, just, uh, a character that kind of fell off, but is slowly coming back due, some, due to some representation doing some really well recently. But, oh jeez. Uh, but we're talking about, we're bringing it back to shield breaks, uh, both characters. Oh, slipped off after the stun, weird. Wow, down air to down air, it's a true combo. Especially like mid high percent, it will kill you for it. Uh, but uh, some uh, Cadillac history is that he actually ended up, uh, played Ryu in Smash 4, which I mean Ryu in Smash 4 was just absolutely cracked. So uh, remnants of that, just like that, that uh, drop Nair. Oh, wow. 111 after it. I guess the rage on Ryu too was helpful for that. But geez, yeah, absolutely massive. But. Um, there's like Nair trains you could do with Ryu in Smash 4, which is absolutely insane. Nair is still pretty good in this game, but um, definitely intimidating to use. Geez, down smash, armored through Dragon Punch. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but yeah, Zug is getting a little bit anxious for this kill. Nice shield pressure, follows up with a jab too after canceling the down B, which is clean. Alright, forward throw, take stage control. Yeah, I really just think that outside of ledge trapping, Zug has been playing a lot better recently, but needs to have some kind of framework for how to ledge trap, because uh, Zug gets people to ledge so often. Just... Oh, nice. Yeah. P jab to Shoryu will seal it out for a 3 1 lead for Kyle. Give it your all. 